Since emerging as an alternative energy source in the 80s and 90s, renewable energy has overcome many hurdles to bring it to where it is today. Renewable energy started as a small, non-polluting alternative. Then it became gigawatt scale. Then it became cost effective. Then twice as fast to build. Then subsidy free. But there's one final hurdle. What happens when the wind doesn't blow and the sun doesn't shine? Can wind and solar power ever supply firm power? I'm Andy Kinsella, Group Chief Executive of Mainstream Renewable Power, and I'm about to explain how the hybrid power plant of the future supplying firm power is with us today. In 2016, Chile's government auctioned contracts to supply 12.4 terawatt hours of electricity, about 16% of the country's electricity needs. Uniquely, this was an auction that was unsubsidized and technology agnostic. It didn't matter how the electricity was generated, from coal, gas, hydro, wind or solar. What did matter was the price. And also, most critically, the ability to deliver the electricity as firm power 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year. We won 28% of the terawatt hours available in this technology neutral auction for 20 year firm power. So we are contracted to deliver 3.4 terawatt hours of firm power each year from wind and solar PV facilities. Enough to power almost one in every six Chilean homes. This graph shows the average daily real-time electricity demand profile we are contractually obliged to deliver to. At 6 a.m., demand starts to go up with the waking of households and the rush to get to work and to school. It first peaks during the day in response to demand from commerce and industry, Chile's main energy users. There's another surge to be met during the late afternoon and evening as home life resumes in the kitchens and living rooms across the country. So how could wind and solar power be relied upon to deliver to such an exacting demand profile? Our response rested on a strategy of innovation and diversification. Firstly, we needed a geographically diverse range of generation assets to limit the impact of localized day-to-day -day weather variations. With 4,000 megawatts, Mainstream has one of the largest portfolios of renewable development sites in Chile. Their locations capitalize on onshore winds from the Pacific, the dry easterlies of the Andes, and the intense solar irradiation of the Atacama Desert. Then we identified the most promising microclimates right across Chile. It's important to remember that while wind and solar energy supplies are intermittent, they are predictable. We had the benefit of six years worth of scientific data from wind measurement and solar irradiation sensors across our projects. This allowed us to map the wind and solar regimes in seasonal and daily detail. We can actually predict supply scenarios to a 99% certainty. The final strand was to assemble a portfolio of seven wind and three solar PV firms that match Chile's energy demands down to the hour. Our contracted commitment to supply 3.4 terawatt hours of electricity a year is split into three phases. Let's look at the first phase. We call it Condor, to supply 1.4 terawatt hours of electricity through a combination of three wind farms and one solar PV firm. At Chama Wind Farm in the northern region of Antifagasta, we can typically generate up to 150 megawatts per hour through the night. Measurements showed that our solar PV farm in Rio Escondido in the Atacama would produce up to 140 megawatts per hour on an 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. basis. Our Cherotillo wind farm, also in the north, generates up to 180 megawatts and provides power from mid-afternoon to midnight. And while the daily wind profile from our Elena wind farm near the southern city of Los Angeles is far flatter, turbines there produce a near steady 24 to 40 megawatts per hour over any 24-hour period. In combination, these projects mirror our contractual energy supply commitments, very closely reflecting our power purchase agreement demand. Any oversupply is spilled into the spot market. The very few periods of undersupply are topped up from the spot market. In the future, these periods of undersupply could be met by large-scale battery banks located on our sites. When you're trying to fund a $2 billion scheme, it takes more than theory to convince a consortium of hard-nosed international banks to part with their money. Our analysis showed that with a 99% certainty, Condor will always be producing the 1.4 terawatt hours per annum demand that matches the profile required under the 20-year power purchase agreement. The importance of passing this exacting financial P99 test cannot be overstated for the future of renewable energy. 
It is the nearest thing to a guaranteed return on investment possible. It is our combination of varying wind and solar energy capture profiles with the strategic locational development of the wind and solar generation facilities in relation to the energy source and grid connection to be combined with future battery storage that is allowing mainstream to develop the hybrid renewable energy firm power facility of the future today.